Hey everyone, welcome back to the FlexCard tutorial series. Today, we are going to see how to pass data from a parent FlexCard to a child FlexCard. And we'll also implement a flyout model using the same child FlexCard. So first, let's see a use case for it. Let's say I have a list of contacts on which there is a button of details. If I press this button, I want to see more details about the same contact. As you can see here, this flyout model is my child FlexCard, which is being hosted on the parent FlexCard. This data is coming from the parent FlexCard's data source. So let's See how to build this first we'll create a new version from the parent flex card and we'll just clear the canvas to start fresh first things first let's see what our data source is if you navigate to the setup section and scroll down as you can see i have a custom data source and some json data of a couple of contacts here so let's start building it let's add a text field which will display the contact name from my data, the name is coming as name. Let's reduce the size for this. And we'll add an action field here and reduce the size for it. Let's make this action field as a button and with a variant of neutral. If you scroll down, you'll see an action section here. In there, we have to set the action type to flyout. The flyout type would be a child card. So let's see what our child card is looking like now. I have made a child card over here which just has a text field and it takes in name, age, job, gender and city which is all coming from the parent's data source. So to display this inside this flyout we will just configure it here in the flyout section. We will select our child flex card and we will pass some data to this child flex card. So how this data is being passed is by a record. To explain this further, you can see that records sends all data. Record zero, that is the array of the data that is coming, zeroth element, that is first element, you can send second, third, whichever element, that will send just the data of the specified record. Just the word record will send just the current records data. Record dot field name will send a record object. Record attributes will send all the attributes from the current record. So in our use case, we are going to use the record property. Going back to the flex card, the data node is set as record and open flyout in. This is important to select a model flyout. All right. Now, if we activate this flex card and preview it, we should have all our details and our action button should open a model pop-up which will display all the data from this current contact. Checking the second button and it's displaying the details from the second contact. All right, that wraps up this tutorial on passing data from our parent flex card to child flex card using the record property as the data source and displaying the child flex card inside a flyout model. This approach keeps your components modular, reusable and clean. If you found this helpful, feel free to like this video subscribe and leave your questions in the comments thanks for watching